Greetings everybody and welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen Today here we're going to be doing the Resident Evil Showcase um, Mostly I will talk about in this video is going to be Resident Evil 4 only related things Because as far as the Resident Evil um, Village DLC and Reverse is concerned I'll touch upon it for a little bit, but this video, the title of this video is going to be Resident Evil 4 uh, Trailer Breakdown and Discussion, mostly be the title, with bits of um, Resident Evil Village and Reverse content, just a tiny bit, not too much, but because we already know what's going to be about, so... Yeah, and reverse. I'll definitely talk about it a little bit. So, without further ado, let's get on with the trailer and we'll break it down with you guys. So, we already seen the first bit of footage of Leon walking around, just observing the area. The game, of course, like I said before, is a lot darker than it was in the original. So, right there, Leon. Uh, basically crouches and by the way let you guys know that the crouch is not something like cinematic it's actually part of the gameplay so this is definitely the first house and the first house is really different than it was on the the original because the original we get in the guy's there and the answer excuse me sir in the beginning so that's what it is so now we're gonna observe the house a little bit more and we see a lot of these like you know more disturbing things there were disturbing things in the original with the skulls and stuff but this was a lot more disturbing stuff in the uh in here on the remake but it's gonna be a lot of footage when it comes to this game it's gonna be a lot of footage so leon observes around checks the place and we saw a uh, a police officer. It's actually one of the police officers that drove here. I think it's one of them. So yeah, I think it's one of them, or maybe one of them came in but we got killed. I'm not sure, but it's mostly like one of the cops that came in. So as soon as we observed the area, we decide to go in, and the our first Ganado came into the scene, and we can see a bit of gameplay. As you can see. The health bar, we got the health bar back, we have some of the stuff back, and of course you can break free. Now in this one, you either can break free from the enemy, or number two, you can use the knife, you know. So the knife acts the same way as the other remake knives, so it's not too much different. As you can see, the crouch is becoming its own button, so you can really just crouch wherever the heck you want, so... So this game might have a bit of a stealth element, which is a very interesting element, you know, very new, pretty different. Cool. As we can see, Leon has the silver ghost handgun, and Leon tried to observe the area, and uh, we see a bit of like uh, pictures and all that type of stuff. And now we can see a first bits of Hunnigan. Yep, Hunnigan, you know, makes his return. She looks beautiful though in this one. She looks, she has different hairstyle, but more the same. But she's you know she's a lot more cute. A lot of people say what well, it looks like Hunnigan, but yeah. So these will be around cutscenes. It's not gonna be. It's like there's no codec um, calls, like you know the codec screen and everything. So you know, so I jump out the window like the original. Now we're gonna get to a second uh, play screen, which is gonna be the village section. Yeah, we use binoculars, observe the areas, and this is kind of cool. We're gonna see the other officer getting burned alive and getting killed. So now we see a bit of gameplay, so what we see here is enemies try to choke Leon and there's all these Ganados and as you can see we can sh she can shoot in the head and does the melee so the melee attacks are still the same exact melee attack and uh, so I want you guys to hear this line from Leon. Kill me for the repairs later. That was a decent line from Leon, same for repairs later, so there's like bingo. Hopefully it says bingo in this one. So now we see Leon, you know, traversing the house where the shotgun is and try to bar the door instead of like using like the, the shelf. And now the chainsaw, um, 
coming in the chainsaw guy and the chainsaw sounds exactly the same i will definitely showcase the sound effects of the chainsaw a little bit soon so yeah the chainsaw look a little bit threatening and a little bit a little bit scarier than the original as you can see the gameplay is a lot more fast paced it's very similar the gameplay in the shotgun felt the same way as resident evil 2 remake so they took a lot of the assets from resident evil 2 remake and you know so when you get grab from behind of course you have to mash the button to uh and then as you see chainsaw guy swings very widely and insanely widely and so yes yeah, so you had a choice either use the knife or basically break free and using the knife the knife has the that um has that meter mode that's from the original and now of course Leon's gonna do an attack right there. It's basically a critical hit, I think. And then Leon can use that for the knife. Basically. And what you saw is basically something called a parry system. So you can literally parry the opponent's hit and you can do a melee attack, which becomes something of like a new system. I like these new systems. They're pretty interesting new systems that is going to make the combat a lot more interesting. So the combat is a lot more interesting, a lot more better. So you do actually a lot more shit in this game than it was in the original. You know, the combat both of the games are amazing. For the time being, both combat are literally amazing. Now, Capcom decided to do another uh, trailer. This time is a story trailer. So I have to call this one more for story trailer and uh, this trailer is pretty dang good I really like like this trailer and now you see these guys the zealots we're doing a ritual here you know one of the areas so it's much more of a story trailer and now we're gonna see here uh, Louis Sarah right now so Louis Sarah looks uh, you know a little bit different it looks kind of cool though I ain't gonna lie it looks kind of good Looks kind of cool a little bit. I really kind of like enjoy what he looks like in this game. You know, you know, he looks a bit different. We see Osman Sadler for a little bit here. So, and we see as well, uh, the big cheese with the whole like hat. So he's basically like tyrant, which is kind of like, I'm a bit very conflicted of that as well. I'm very conflicted and just like I said, like that's kind of a bit stupid. To make him to a pyramid head like characteristic. And there's Ashley. I'm sure we're going crazy about, you know. I'm not sure about Ashley, you know, okay, it looks to be one thing, but what about like when she's in the middle of an axe? So that's what one thing. And we have here Ada, which she looks exactly the same. She doesn't look that different compared to the Resident Evil 2 counterpart. She looks literally the same. And here we see the El Gigante redesign. He looks like he looks like a little ogre. And we saw here the Delago boss fight. So the game will takes place mostly so the boss fight will take place at night instead of day. Because the original took place in the day, here it took place in the nighttime. So here's so we see Ramon Salazar. He looks completely different, and his voice is different. So his voice kind of like meh, I guess. And here comes a, a cool shot right here of uh, Ashley holding a gun, which is really interesting. And hopefully, she could be a lot more useful instead of you know being completely and utterly you know useless, in my opinion. So. Hopefully she's not going to be as annoying and as, as irritating as she is in the original. Hopefully she's a little bit different and add a little different instead of being the annoyance she is. So, fingers crossed she's not going to be as annoying as the original version. Now it's time for us to get to the more of the gameplay stuff in the game. So right now if we can see, we have more of the gameplay stuff. We can get items and everything. And here's the attaché case. The... The reason that the knife is, you know, separate and it's not like in the, you know, in the attachment case of being separately, is because like the knife you could definitely like overuse and everything. So there's a possibility that the knife could be like overused. And uh, by the way, the merchant's voice is not that great. I forgot that I forgot to mention. As you can see, we have the mine bolt, the shotgun, and everything, and the upgrade system. So now the knife is in the tune-up system. So you're basically gonna upgrade the knife doing some stuff you can actually trade which is actually the first time you can trade stuff for i don't know for some stuff i think so for some items and stuff and all that kind of you know uh stuff 
So yeah, as you can see, there's there's the parry and there is the uh, the uh, stuff right here. So let me guys uh, let you guys hear what uh, the chainsaw sounds like in the in the remake right now. So I'm gonna give you guys now a snippet of it. As you guys heard, that the chainsaw. In the Resident Evil 4 remake, it sounds exactly the same as the original sound effect, but it sounds like a bit, you know, quieter. So it sounds a bit quieter. So it's really still got like kind of like the same thing, and you know, the environmental stuff and all that type of thing. So now for like a brief thing to mention about the Resident Evil Reverse and everything. So Resident Reverse, they added kind of like a new mode in this game, kind of like a wolf pack mode, if I assume. I'm not really sure, but I feel like they have some new maps and new things. I said they're gonna update the game and all that kind of stuff. And with Shadows of Rose, it's literally the same, so it's nothing really that much. My main focus, like I said, in this video is be Resident Evil 4 is my main focus. Now it's time for the discussion part, so. Honestly, when I first saw the trailer, I was very conflicted and I was a bit, you know, I can't like, I didn't, I can't comprehend way too much stuff. So, I believe that the game is, you know, pretty good. It's good. It's not like, like I said, it won't beat the original. Because the original is one of my favorite Resident Evil games of all time. And this game, from a look at the trailer, it might be be a hit or miss to some people. To me, I believe it might be a hit or miss to me. So I didn't expect, uh, you know, more or less from Capcom, you know. When it comes to Resident Evil 4, um, right now Resident Evil 4 is up for pre-order right now. So I'm going to pre-order the game, definitely. There's no, like, demos. Although there is a Resident Evil Village demo right now for the third person mode so if you guys want to play that it's right now it's now available for third person mode so you guys can check how it is and i'm gonna be gonna be playing it on my own i will not be playing the demo i'll be just gonna be playing i'm gonna play the i'm gonna play when the full game or full release so i'll play it in full release so it's gonna be it's gonna be great so discussion the redesign of some of the characters are you know Pretty good redesigns. Uh, the redesigning for Ashley, Leon, Lois. Between Spanish, there's not much. Uh, Ramon Salazar looks like more like a British woman or something like that. Look like a British woman. I don't know. It looked like the guy looked a bit British, like a British woman or something like that. I don't know. He gave me a bit of a British vibes. But you know, like I said, the game would be hit or miss. And. I'm not that hyped for Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm not extremely hyped for that game. Unlike Silent Hill, which uh, that video speaks for itself. And it just my voice was, I was sounding very hyper on that game. Like extremely hyped for it. And I'm like very ready to rebel zone for that game. And I'm definitely liking it. When, Res when it comes to Resident Evil 4 Remake, I, I can see that this game is gonna be a lot more modernized. I wish it wasn't too modernized. I'm still gonna have my doubts with the game. I'll still be doubting it. From the trailer looks, I like the village. And here's the thing, I like the village. The village looked really, really good. I liked it. It's the same, but in a modern look with modern graphics and everything. It's really, really good. I find it to be really good. I really like it, you know? I don't like, like Sat, uh, not Sadler, um, uh, the merchant's voice. The merchant's voice, if you hear him, he sounds generic and sounds like very generic, very, like, I'm not much a fan of his voice in that game. I'm not much a fan. I don't like his voice. So, yeah, the whole gameplay, here's the thing about the gameplay. I wouldn't mind if they tweak the gameplay a bit. I'll have no problem if they tweak it and do some things with it. That's fine by me, but. Hopefully, I don't want to see no cut content or like changes that it makes no sense. Right now, there's not a lot of changes, you know. Now it's everything from like the like the like the village is all the same. It's all the same as I remember in the original. 
the thing is about the whole parry system, it kind of makes the chainsaw guy less threatening right now. It's not as threatening as he was in the original. Because in the original, he can kill you in one hit. I, I do believe he's still gonna kill you in one hit in the, in the remake. He still can kill you in one shot. But he doesn't feel as threatening in this because you can move and shoot, you can parry, there's a lot of things you can do. So you can move backwards and shoot because I wish they did not do that. I wish they kind of kept like not moving and shooting as the attention. I would do that instead. And uh, hopefully they have some QTEs in the game, which I do believe they're going to remove, which is stupid because it was part of the game. Like, put, like, they had the charm of the game, you know, like the game, like from like the areas and everything, but can you as well, can you keep it in the gameplay as well? I don't want the game to be extremely modernized. Like to the guilt to the guilt. They use the Resident Evil 2 remake uh engine and the, the the when I saw the shotgun, it felt like more like the Resident Evil 2 feel. It's not the Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, so I'm glad that the people made Resident Evil 2 making this one because they made an amazing job for Resident Evil 2 remake, so I hope they do the same thing in 4. And like I said, now the game it looks promising. Like I said in my last one, looks promising. This one looks even more promising right now. So there's a good chance of the game being good. But like I said, if they done something completely stupid, or it comes to like the story, or it comes with like the characters and anything, is or just something completely like ridiculous, I'm gonna be done with the game. But I think the game's gonna be good. But I do think the game's gonna be good. From look at the trailer. And here's the thing, that's actually, there's one thing I, I've heard, and that was like literally just minutes before I'm recording this audio right now, that the director of Resident Evil 4 stated on a, twi in a Twitter post that they say they're not going to be making Resident Evil, Co they're not going to remake Resident Evil 4 called Veronica, Resident Evil, sorry, not 4, Resident Evil called Veronica. Which, and they say kind of like a bit of a maybe. So, they're not going to remake Resident Evil Veronica, guys. It's been official, stated by the director of Resident Evil 4 remake. Which, really, it was a shot in the heart. And I'm, I am very pissed about it. I'm literally pissed about it. That is ridiculous. I'm sorry I went on a bit of a tangent. But this is stupid. Why you have to not do a remake of a game that's really needed for a remake? That, that game brought the return of Claire, Chris, and like and Wesker. Like, bruh, why you did not do a remake of that game? That game need a remake. We decided to make Resident Evil 4 remake because you fucking greedy bastards. Uh that really like pissed me off really. I was really, really pissed and I really wanted a Resident Evil a Resident Evil uh, Call of Veronica remake. I so want to do it, but the game, but the director said they're just like, uh, they said maybe. So there could be possible they might do it, but they say they're, they're not having any plans to do it. That is bullshit. That is straight up bullshit. And you can just fucking do it. I know you can do it. Ah, oh, that is ridiculous. That that really frustrates me. That is really a frustrating like thing to, like, to find out. Literally, a friend of mine told me about this, and I was literally pissed. I was legitimately pissed about it, really. And that was fucking bullshit right there. Anyways. So, guys, what do you guys think about the remake, guys? Do you guys are excited? Are you guys like me? It's big spectacle. This does not... Resident Evil 4... Does, and I'm going to say this. That Resident Evil 4 does not hit like uh, Silent Hill 2 did. Silent Hill 2 hits completely differently... It felt because it may here's the thing, it makes sense because of, I haven't seen a Silent Hill game in 10 years and they could have outdone themselves. They really did outdone, outdone themselves, like I said in the video. But Resident Evil 4 Remake is kind of like that's yeah, kind of it's kind of alright, it's not like it's a, like a 10 out of 10 spectacular, unless if I play it and then it might be 10 out of 10 because, like I said, I still have a bit of a sour bit of a sour taste from Resident Evil 3 Remake and Resident Evil Village. I have a sour taste in my mouth, so 
Hope this will be a, ca a palate cleanser. Resident Evil 4 remake with palate cleanser and be tasty and amazing like the original. So yeah, so that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. My goal is 300 subscribers. Uh, comment. What do you think of the trailer? And that's pretty much it. Yeah. Take care.